Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. French police fear the former Russian soldier arrested in Paris was plotting an attack on Ukraine amid ongoing D-Day commemorations. The 26-year-old set off a bomb made with Mother of Satan chemicals in a hotel room on Monday and is now facing a range of terrorism-related charges. The unnamed suspected terrorist was reportedly plotting an indirect hit on Ukraine as Vladimir Putin's war rages on in the region. Now in French intelligence service custody, the man allegedly planned to target companies who supply weapons to Kiev. The suspected plot comes on the week Ukrainian leader Zelensky joins other world leaders, including U.S. President Biden, King Charles, and PM Rishi Sunak for the D-Day 80th anniversary ceremonies. A massive security operation has been launched alongside their visit to Normandy where they are guests of French President Emmanuel Macron. Russia has not been invited to take part in the ceremonies. The 26-year-old Russian sustained wounds to his face and arms after the blast at a Charles de Gaulle airport BB on Monday around 4 p.m. His improvised explosive was made with TATP, dubbed the mother of Satan by terror groups ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Today sources close to the police investigation told AFP he fought for two years in the Russian army. They also said part of the reason a terrorism investigation had been launched was because of the ongoing D-Day celebrations and mass gathering of world leaders. One source said the Russian was still with Putin's army until recently when he arrived in France and was traveling on both Russian and Ukrainian passports, while also carrying passports from other countries. They added, there are indications that he was producing improvised bombs in order to target companies supplying weapons to Ukraine. The terror suspect is from Donbass, a part of eastern Ukraine occupied by Russia and a hotbed of fighting in Vlad's illegal war. British Ministry of Defense figures estimate that France has supplied over £2 billion worth of military kit to Ukraine, including missiles and anti-tank systems. France's National Anti-Terrorist Prosecution Office, PNAT, who is investigating, said the man was left with significant burns after Monday's blast. Now in custody of the General Directorate of Internal Security, DGSI, France's equivalent of MI5, he is cooperating with their investigation. French outlet BFM TV quoted intelligence expert Jerome Poirot as saying, he went under the radar. One of these passports could have allowed him to leave quickly without arousing suspicion. I think this is very worrying, it shows in my opinion that we are indeed in the presence of actions designed, planned, organized by states. He has claimed to investigators that he had was building homemade batteries for mobile phones when one of them exploded. Nobody else was injured in the blast, and the BB which has more than 200 rooms, was evacuated and then closed. Multiple security sources have confirmed that traces of TATP were found in his hotel room, together with batteries and barbecue lighters in plastic packages. TATP was used by ISIS suicide bombers during the November 2015 attacks on Paris which killed 130. It was also used by the Manchester Arena bomber in 2017, when 22 people were killed and more than 1,000 wounded. Anti-terror cops are looking into various charges in this case, including participation in a terrorist criminal association with a view to preparing crimes of attacks against persons, possession of an incendiary or explosive substance or product or of elements intended to compose an explosive device with a view to preparing destruction and damage or harm to people, in connection with a terrorist enterprise. Europe has been gearing up for a renewed terror attack threat in recent months. The EU's law enforcement agency Europol said the threat sits at an acute level with the primary concern being jihadist terrorism and foreign actors who come from conflict zones. Ten jihadist attacks have been foiled by cops in Europe in the past 12 months alone, according to Dutch intelligence agency AIVD. The agency claimed attacks planned and intercepted included stabbing rampages at major events and assaults on specific groups and venues. Israel's spy agency meanwhile alleged Iranian terror cells are plotting attacks across the continent ahead of the Paris Olympics. The Olympics chief has promise.